our streams died away, their silence was deathly. Precious was tottering giddily, and I caught her before she toppled forward into the coffin. Rain, her hands pressed to her mouth, had turned the color of vomit. The dead man's face was alive with spiders. They covered every centimeter of rotten flesh, darting in and out of his mouth, and now they were crawling o over the whites of his eyes. I clamped my mouth shut. Precious was clinging to me like a dead weight. Randall, do something, she pleaded. The corpse turned its head. Its lips moved. He can do nothing, croaked a voice from the depths of all the decay. Rain choked on a stream. Her eyelids fluttered. How can you talk? She asked the corpse. You're dead. I am one of the top web people, uttered the corpse, as spiders trailed in and out of its mouth. I have been dressed for all, for all the time. I killed a spider many years ago. Its ghost took its revenge by making its home in my body. Its web grew out of my flesh. Now its companions have come to devour me. I listened to the cop's words and tasted death in my mouth. I have killed spiders too, I confess. Terror mounting in my stomach and squeezing my lungs. If you stay here, their spirits will claim you in revenge, the cop said. But everyone kills spiders, I blurted out. The cop sighed as black fury spiders emerged from its ears and nostrils. They will all be cursed. When they are in their graves, the spiders will come. The precious pale face lips trembling, gazed down at the tops. When she spoke, her, voices, her voice was a thin, tormented sound. We saw a woman when we came in. She began, Do you know who she is? My wife, I expected. The cops replied, We live in this house for 42 years. It was always infested with spiders. How many she killed, I do not know. And when we died, we were brought back here so the spiders could feast on us. The cops lifted a skeletal hand high above the shroud. Go seek her and tell her of your plight, it told us. Perhaps she can help you. As for me, it is too late. There was a faint snapping sound. The next moment, the cop's head rolled from its neck. Spiders were still gorging themselves on the last of the sinews that held it in place. I staggered back from the coffin as hundreds of evil, evil black spiders surged out of the dead man's hollow neck. They must have been deep inside the corpse, feeding on the dead man's organs. Now they burst out in a seething black tide, clambering up the sides of the coffin. The leading spiders were startling along the edge. One after another, they stopped and turned in my direction. One rose up, its legs twitching in the air. It looked poised, ready to jump from the coffin and onto my legs. With a sickening gasp, I realized why. Like the cops, I had killed spiders. Like the cops, I needed punishment. I was going to be the next victim.